हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हम दिस नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट थॉर्डन बियरिंग थॉर्डन बियरिंग इज द लेटेस्ट डेवलपमेंट इन द स्टर्न ट्यूब बियरिंग इन टुडे वीडियो वी लर्न अबाउट द थॉर्डन बियरिंग व्हाट इज द थॉर्डन बियरिंग व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ थॉर्डन बियरिंग विल सी द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ थॉर्डन बियरिंग विल सी वॉट आर द एडवांटेज ऑफ हैविंग दिस बियरिंग and we will compare it with the oil lubrication in terms of length and d ratio and after that we will see about the design and we will see about the monitoring of the bearing wear worn out limit then we will see about the coating then we will see about the seal and then about the how it is maintained so please remain tuned till last after watching this video i assure that there will no more doubt about thorden bearing and you have compact knowledge which will be good for your examination so friend our marine engineering channel provide you with the very important of information by collecting from a lot of sources so please do subscribe and please do share our channel video to with your friend so that they can also be helpful to them this channel is been made by our ravi gupta sir so that it can be beneficial to all of you so please help us to grow thank you friend so let's begin the today video what is the thorden bearing so thorden bearing is a latest development in the stern tube bearing so as you can see this is a propeller this is a thorden bearing which is installed and this is a forward seal in the aft there is no seal okay so this bearing is also tapered in design this bearing also tapered in design so this is a thorden bearing so it is a sea water lubricator system not a oil lubrication system so thorden bearing is the latest development in the stern tube system advantage of installing thorden bearing so it is a sea water cool open loop system what do i mean by open loop it means the water is entering from one point here it is lubricating this thorden bearing and getting out from here so it is a open loop system the water is not been recirculated the water is entering from the forward seal it is lubricating the thorden bearing and getting out this thorden bearing have a at least guaranteed shelf life of a 15 year and it is a made up of elastomeric polymer so this thorden bearing having a life period of 15 year at least means they are guaranteeing the thorden compact bearing manufacturer are guaranteeing that they will be a 15 year lifetime of this stern tube type bearing so very very advantageful let's see what are the property other property of the thorden bearing so as you can see this is the elastomeric polymer this orange color you can see na this is the thing okay so low operating cost thorden oil and grease free polymer bearing and seal require minimal maintenance both time and money are safe with less downtime than other competitive material so first more advantage is that the whole system is based on a sea water lubrication system so as it is a sea water lubrication system so there is a no use of oil so it eliminate the use of oil so it is oil and grease free first thing so low operating cost second it eliminate the purchase of oil grease and air okay third is a zero pollution risk so as you can see because of not using the oil we are reducing the operating cost we are avoiding the chances of pollution because now if we are using oil in that case we have to be concerned that the oil if getting leak because of the aft seal here in the oil if getting leak the oil which getting into the sea should be biodegradable in nature so there is chances of pollution risk so we come up with a double security system double security seal okay like all that but with the development of thorden bearing it is a sea water lubricator system it eliminate the use of a uh, oil so and it is a open loop so it have a low operating cost it have a zero pollution risk and no use of 
oil and grease okay now this bearing is better than the metal because of it durability of the polymer okay and it have a longer wear life how many they guaranteeing at least 15 years now let's see what are the property of a thought and compact bearing so basically it is a self lubricating elastomeric polymer material which having no groove on the bottom okay and it is water lubricated so what is happening basically if you can see this thing so normally there is no groove in the bottom you can see there is no groove in the bottom there is a groove on the top as you can see there is groove on the top okay this groove on the top the shaft is passing by through this so there is no groove on the bottom and there is groove on the top which is causing helping the hydrodynamic lubrication to form and reducing the wear okay it is water lubricated it has no groove on the bottom it has a groove on the top and it is self lubricating in nature after that the advantage of having this elastomeric polymer is that it have a low coefficient of friction it have a low coefficient of friction where therefore it minimizes the start up torque and both friction and wear as you know both in case of crankshaft material in in anything the bearing wear rate is maximum at the time of starting whenever we are starting any machinery whenever we are starting engine the bearing maximum wear limit is at the time of starting why because the contact is maximum and lubrication is minimum once the rpm has come up the hydrodynamic lubrication film will form which will prevent and reduce the wear limit so as it is self lubricated in nature and it has no groove on the bottom and it is water lubricated it have a low frictional wear okay now let compare this bearing with a oil type so normally is length by diameter ratio is 2 is to 1 which is very much less than the other type of a water lubricating system if you remember about the lignum vitae about the water lubricating system the length by d ratio is 4 is to 1 but here the length by ratio is 2 is to 1 which is making it much shorter and lighter than the other bearing and it have a self life and it will not harden up after the use so it is basically comparing it with the other lubricating system such as lignum vitae which become harden when it is used and have a self life of 2 and 1/2 year but and their length and ratio is 4 is to 1 but its length ratio is 2 is to 1 and it is much shorter than the what other water lubrication system now the bearing design this bearing design is taper in nature okay this bearing design is basically taper in nature okay this taper design have a have a split type bearing okay which allow the bearing to be removed without removing the shaft or the bearing carrier that is a very much advantage it means that we don't need to remove the shaft or the bearing carrier and we can carry out any inspection replacement or repair work so that is very advantage for having that compact bearing after that in order to monitor the bearing from time to time okay in order to monitor the bearing from time to time what is happening we they are me- measuring the bearing limit wear limit we are measuring the bearing wear limit by help of four bearing sensor which are placed in different position and how much one of the bearing have taken place we will able to manage it this is called bcm bearing condition monitoring system okay after that the bearing is coated the sealed shaft is having a special type of coating system thorden tough epoxy coating which is a epoxy coating so what i am talking about 
I am talking about this. As you can see, this is a thread and bearing, and this is a epoxy coating. You can see this white thing, hole passing through. This is a sealed shaft of a epoxy coating. Okay. So, thread and tough epoxy coating, thread and seal is designed to provide integrity against the shaft corrosion. So, it is providing integrity against the shaft corrosion. And in event of damage, sea water cannot wick under the coating along the shaft. Thread seal spot is reappearable. Okay. So, it is understood. Now. After that, there is a Sea Tiger mechanical seal face seal, okay, and it is a maintenance-free, high-performance seal, wear life and reduce maintenance costs. Basically, it is a forward seal we are talking about, okay, which is uh, provided at the front, huh, okay, and it is uh, having high performance. It is uh, having uh, less uh, wear uh, rate and hence longer life, okay. And after that, there is a water treatment system. The water which is provided with the entering from the starting is basically passed to a water quality package which provide a conditioned water to the forward seal and all bearing which have a which led to the good bearing life and the main purpose of this water package is to remove the abrasive particle which therefore extend the bearing life significantly. So basically what is happening what I mean to say is that the water is entering from here the mechanical seal is here and after that it is getting lubricated and then the water is coming out from here the water which is provided is a conditioned water which main purpose is to reduce the abrasive particle so that to ensure the longer life of the bearing so i hope in today video you have learned what is thought and bearing how the thought and bearing work and what are the different property of the thought and bearing if you like this video, please do subscribe and share and please help us to grow by sharing in your social platform. Thank you friend.